Hi there, my name is Phil Monk, I'm 39 from Swindon, Wiltshire in the UK and I'm the founder of an organisation called We the Undersigned Have a Human Sovereign Right to Cannabis. Myself and our members have been asked to take part in a vlog for Dr Frank and his Cannabis is Medicine campaign. So I've suffered with chronic myofascial pain from joint hypermobility syndrome, bilateral ulnar impaction syndrome and arthritis for many years now. So my life has basically been a life of pain. I also have childhood PTSD and depression which has been caused from disability and previous experiences. My life before cannabis involved one of horrendous debilitating pain, depression, suicidal thoughts. I had low esteem uh, and then I suffered the life-threatening side effects of uh, prescribed synthetic drugs which kind of pushed me onto my canna journey even more so. Um, I discovered the therapeutic effects of cannabis uh, when I was 16 years old actually. Um, I was very anti-drugs after school conditioning and a friend peer pressured me into trying cannabis. Um, immediately I found that the dark thoughts subsided and I was able to cope better with all the, the bad memories which were kind of messing my mind up as a 16 year old. Uh, and I was kind of what they would call a, a recreational consumer from then on. I thought I was just a pothead. Uh, and this was in secret, of course, throughout my entire life. Only the very nearest and dearest knew I used cannabis. Even I didn't know then, really, I used it for my mental health. Um, at this point, I didn't have pain. I was a strong, strapping man. Um, so it was all entirely for uh, mental health reasons, I suppose. And the fact that I preferred it to alcohol. I really didn't like what alcohol did to me. Alcohol made me feel really ill, and cannabis didn't make me feel ill. So I, at that early age, I still chose cannabis instead of alcohol. Uh, fast forward a bit and um, disability through the bilateral ulnar impaction syndrome where I basically lost the use of my hands because my bones had grown too long from too much mountain biking so they had to take out a 4mm disc, shorten my bone and plate it back together again both arms over four years so you know I was in hellish pain for a long time I injured my hip which then led on to a spiral of health loss um, and muscle loss which has made my hypermobility syndrome become more pronounced so through all that time, because I couldn't work because of my wrists, I went back to university, I became a teacher of Spanish, adult literacy, um, numeracy and English for speakers of other languages. Um, I was one point off a first, um, got a PGCE and that was all while using cannabis in secret to manage the pain in my wrist at this point because my, my hands were so bad, I couldn't type, I couldn't write, so I used to just have a smoke so I could carry on. Turns out that really gave me some good thoughts and it enhanced my cognitive function as well. Um, so how cannabis has helped me... Sorry, I'm just adjusting my screen so I don't lose my notes. Um, well, for me personally, it saved my life. Cannabis has saved my life. Um, it saved my life because it connected me spiritually with God. Uh, I would say, or some people say the universe, whatever higher force you wish to believe in. A uh, real dark and low point in my life when I was really on a bad path. Um, I got heavily stoned on buckets and it took me to a real high meditative state where I believe I was connected with God. People can think what they like about that, but that is what turned me from the path of darkness to a path of righteousness and why I'm sat before you today. Uh, and this was after basically childhood trauma caused me to disconnect from everyone. And it made me the opposite of who I am. You know, I was disconnected, suicidal, I was dishonest, I was promiscuous, I had no self-worth. Uh, whereas I believe through cannabis I now actually live my life as righteously as possible. Um, cannabis elevates my mood, it enhances my creativity and my spirituality, it's empowered me to take control of my health, right, because pharmaceutical drugs nearly killed me four times, brain hemorrhage, mini stroke, uh, two cancer scares, I won't name the drugs, legal reasons, all the rest of it, blah blah blah, but the hospitalising, traumatising side effects, now I should have the choice of a natural alternative, everyone should have the choice of a natural alternative before being forced to take these pharmaceutical drugs that actually make you really ill. Um, so through this um, journey I became a herbalist and I've replaced all pharmaceutical drugs virtually, apart from a tiny bit of morphine, uh, and alcohol with natural herbal cannabis. Um, now the only way to access cannabis uh, morally and ethically and safely is of course to grow your own. Uh, obviously with the 14 year threat of prison in this country um, it's not highly recommended. So the only other way is to you know, to go on the street. Um, if you could grow your own, you, it's ethical, moral, you know it's safe, you know it's organic. 
off the street, we've got no idea what it is, to be honest. Um, we've got no idea its name, sometimes we get a name, don't know its strength, don't know its ratios, but we have to buy it off the street. From Sometimes they're good people, actually, not all the dealers are bad. Some people have been very kind and compassionate people that have basically looked after people because they're ill. Um, so not all dealers are bad. Um, so how much do I take? I need at least two to three grams of herbal cannabis a day in ideal circumstances. Obviously, it's not always possible. Um, I'm running out of time on my minutes. So, um, you know, I smoke joints, I use a bong as and when required, normally around every hour. And um, the cost stops me getting a decent dry herb, but I like to make fico occasionally, which gives the best benefits. And I love to make can of butter to make my own toffees and biscuits and cakes. But I love to be able to grow my own, to eat fresh buds and leaves in my salads and in my juices. The legal state of cannabis has destroyed my life, really, apart from the fact I'm still free, I suppose. But I live in constant fear of being attacked at my own home. Uh, just for literally choosing a, a natural plant over toxic drugs. I can grow tobacco, I can brew alcohol, so why can I not grow my own herbal remedy? And the thought of being like attacked in my own home, my house ransacked, put in handcuffs, dragged off in a van and into a cell, and being interrogated just because I've chosen cannabis to manage my health. I've lost employment opportunities, I've been ostracised by my family, uh, and basically this law needs to change because of patient autonomy. We should all have the right to make the choices for our health, good or bad in fact actually. No government should be able to deny what is an essential nutrient because cannabis maintains homeostasis and if we add it in our diets then we probably wouldn't get sick in the first place. So Weed and Design is fighting for equality and freedom equal to that recreational drug users of alcohol and tobacco. My minutes are running out so I love you all, thank you very much.